Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. I'm doing the update here for the uh, large indoor grow tent where we grow our vegetables and microgreens and tomatoes. Oh, I love my tomatoes, especially these indigo rows. All right, let's get the update. So, we did some harvesting of some tomatoes this week in here. Well, I did after work <laughs> because you know I can't I can't help myself when I come down here and see these little black beauties sitting on there with their uh, their indigo indigo color but uh, let's start over here on the right side of the tent you can see the basil so now I've I've switched out so now this is let me shine this up here this here is the second generation LED light that's more of a natural daylight and the basil seems to really like this stuff so I mean I'm getting some good growth you can see I mean it's coming up there's no there's no flower top setting yet so I'm gonna have to pinch off some of these in the next week or so but Paul has remarked that you know these things have grown I mean look at how tall these are now these are like four inches so they're really starting to take off and I don't know if I mean before I had one of the uh, the multicolor LED like that over the top of it so I'm, I'm nothing conclusive but I'm just saying this light seems to have really made these things take off and if anybody's doing any kind of uh, I guess medicinal grows you may want to consider getting one of these lights and as uh, and as always in all my videos for my grow tents if you go down in the show notes down below you'll see all the equipment that I'm using in here and actually reordered uh, uh, reorganized all of the listings and put all the lights that are currently in each of the tents to where they are so that way you can just look at the tent and say oh these are all the equipment that guy this guy has in his big grow tent or if this is the equipment he has inside the small mid-size LED tent or the uh, salad bar LED area so that way you guys can kind of get a pricing estimate for you know the equipment that's in each one of those how much it cost me to put that tent together itself with all the lighting it has so just a little quick update uh, back here we have the indigo rose plant you can see I mean look at all the, the new fruit set you'll see back there and there's a lot of budding on this plant so we're going to have a lot of fruit set ready for winter coming in. Really happy to see that because once fall comes and I lose my tomato plants outside, I love coming down here and having fresh veggies for Paula and I. This one here, this is the superstar of all the cuttings. You can see that guy. He is probably at least 18, 20 inches tall now. That's the one of the, uh, the cuttings. You can see he's actually got some, uh, some budding going on there. So he's going to be setting fruit pretty soon. So I'm happy about that. The little guy in the front down there, he's still kicking along. And he actually looks like he has a little tiny tomato set on that guy. But, uh, that's kind of funny. And this is one of our, you know, this is one of the older plants. This was a cutting from the original plant over there in the corner. And it's coming up and it's got a lot of fruit set. And it's got some, you know, new growth and budding on that. You know, back in the back. So I'm happy to see that. Over here have another one of our you know cuttings that came off of the plant when I trimmed out everything and you can see that one there he's about two feet tall he's a little more leggy uh, because he doesn't have a light directly over him so he's probably you know getting shaded out by these two uh, parent tomato plants so he looks like he's a little more leggy going up but that's fine because I'm gonna need to take him and you know grow him up through this cluster and get him underneath that light so but you know that's okay if you have a little bit of a leggy tomato it'll give you more opportunity to run them up through cages and that kind of things but uh, it looks like all three of those inside that bag are doing well so I'm not gonna have to I mean I'm just gonna let them run for this winter and uh, see what happens so if I have any losses I'm not really gonna have to worry too much because I'll have uh, plenty of these tomato plants growing in the corner here we have the other ones and it looks like these three, a little fruit set on this guy here, he seems to be doing well. All four of these seem to be coming along. I mean, that's just crazy. All four of those came on back. Man, and this guy, he's, he's about the biggest of them, too. Or the four. I'm pretty impressed with all this, this vigor. And the water issue that I was having in the tent, just an update on that. That one there is dried out. This one here is almost dry. I mean, you can see there's still a little bit of residual water left in it, 
but by taking the drip lines and running them through the tent along the base instead of along the ceiling has actually eliminated that kind of a siphon effect of where the draining was happening into these two bins and it's uh it's drying them out so and the tomatoes they look really healthy i mean they're not they're not overwatered. they don't look like they got any some kind of sun scald anything like that so i'm, I'm really happy that the vigor and the green green uh color in these look really nice so i think things are working really well with the uh with the grow tent here we've got for the uh the tomatoes oh and i was going to talk about this i moved these spinach plants into this tent i took a cedar board you know a fence board laid it across the front of this and i just put these three trays of spinach in here because i figure spinach is going to be a longer growing vegetable and it doesn't really fit into the uh the rotational scheme I'm trying to come up with the microgreens for the mid-size grow tent. So I'm just going to kind of move all the spinach in here. I do still have one tray of spinach inside the, uh, the mid-size grow tent, but I will, uh, you know, move these into here. And I wanted to see if I have enough light in here to make these happy. If not, I was thinking about I can grab, you know, maybe another two LEDs of these uh, these new daylight ones, the new second generation daylight LEDs pick up two more of those and then put those down along through the center of this tent that way it'll give a little bit more light to the center area you know in the little poinsettia I had to move him over here because he was starting to look a little sad his leaves like he, cause he used to have a direct light above him and then uh, he was sitting in the middle of the tent here <laughs> it looked like his leaves were kind of looking a little sad like the the color was starting to fade out of them so I thought well I'll move him back over here closer to the basil so we can have a new friend <laughs> Well, that's kind of the, uh, the update for the large grow tent. Squat down here in front of the, the tent. Well, this has been Brian from pmbhomesteading.com. And we usually, uh, you know, if you check our, our, uh, our website, I try to put up on our blog, you know, different things about, you know, the things I do over the weekends, the tasks and everything. And then you'll have links to all the videos like these that you're seeing here on YouTube. And, uh, you know, Paula's going to start posting on there eventually, hopefully. <laughs> she takes She takes a ton of pictures. And then she's always like, well, here, put these on the blog. Put these on. It's like, I only have a limited amount of time during the day. And she's like, well, me too, because i got to do all the cooking and the canning. So uh, it's kind of a battle getting everything all together. But uh, I like putting these videos together for you guys, just you know, for the few subscribers that actually watch this stuff. I mean, because it's fun to look back, and you know, some of the guys at work, they laugh at it. It's like, oh, look at you on camera. <laughs> but uh, anyway, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye. <laughs>